Yo, hello everyone. Do you need to cash out your Steam wallet funds? In this video, I will walk you through transferring money from your Steam wallet to your bank account in 2023. You will learn how to use Steam Office's cash out features and some other website to help you do the job. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, to start our journey with this video, first of all, we need to understand some fundamentals about Steam wallets. So here we are on the Steam official website and this is the Steam support itself answering the most important question about this video, which is, can I, like, can Steam wallet funds be gifted, withdrawn or transferred to another Steam account or even being going back to my bank account? So no, wallet funds cannot be moved or withdrawn to a bank account. Once a Steam wallet code has been redeemed on an account, the wallet funds are, are then tied to that account. If you would like to buy another user Steam wallet funds, please purchase a Steam wallet code. So now, as you can understand, once you go to your Steam account and you buy some funds and later on you'll be like, I regret it, I don't really wanna buy this game, I don't want this, I don't want that. It is too late, my friend. So what to do in that case? Simply, I'm going to show you some ways to help you get rid of this team uh, fund that you have. So first of all, to check your wallet, and all you have to do is go to your Steam account. So you just have to launch the application itself and then go over here to your name and then click on view my wallet. So here we go. As you can see, this is advanced your wallet or to your Steam wallet. And this is the current balance that I have, which is around zero dollars. So I have literally none. But for you guys, you will have around five, 10, 25, 50, 100, 1000, depends on you, of course. So, Let's say that you have, for example, $10. So how can I get it back? And literally, Steam themselves, they are saying that we can't really get them back. Well, you can use some tricks. How can we do that? Simply, there is the first trick, which is selling your account. Simply, you can go to G2G and then go to here and sell your account. So just type Steam. So here we go and go here and sell your account and here literally there's people selling so many accounts with games etc uh, you can here add some filters uh, check your like uh, budget but for us we are going to click on sell so what i'm going to do is sell click on sell button on g2z after of course creating an account here choose here's the service so i'm going to sell for example um accounts and here, changing of the email address is not supported, officially. So it must provide the email address to the buyers and make sure they gain full access of the email, such as secret question, etc. Changing of the email address is supported, officially. So, says so must assist buyers to change the email address and provide the proof. Payments will be put on hold if seller did not submit proof for one or two. If seller failed to provide proof, the payment will be deducted to refund buyer when there is a dispute. You must be the main owner of the account you intend to sell. And here you have to visit account service rules and description for more info. So let's ignore all of that. Choose the select game. And here I'm going, for example, to choose Team Global. So once I have chosen this, here I'm going to add the title. So here you have to add product details, so title, description, and you have to upload the images and the pricing and like what you have as an answer, duration, delivery candles, and much more. So this is as an example number one, which is selling your account, literally all of it. Now let's say that you have so many games, you're not really going to sell your account for only $5. You have FIFA, you have etc. You don't really sell the account, you just wanna get rid of that $5 that you have stuck in your wallet. In that case, what you could do is go to store and like, let's go to the store itself and search for a game that is super wanted at the moment. And at the same time, it's about $5. So for example here, uh, I can, let's say that we have around $10 in our account. So I'm going to buy Little Nightmares 2 
and what I'm going to do is not really buying it but I'm going to gift it to someone so here I'm going to simply add it to cart as a gift so I'm just gonna add to cart and then buy it as a gift get the code and then what I'm going to do next is go to G2G or any kind of other websites so here as an example I'm going to sell a little nightmares so let me just remove this fix that little nightmares account so here we go and here as you can see we'll find like a bunch of accounts that they are selling little nightmares so the amount of the price is actually $12 here you can fight the market cap and make it $10 in and like five cents and you will have your money back with extra benefits so here as you can see it is already on discount so you can buy it and add it to cart get it and then give it to someone as a like a gift so this is how you can get right of the money that you have in your wallet in a way and of course this person will pay you in any kind of payments you'd like so here on g2g they can pay you literally with crypto coins paypal bank account anything let me just show you as an example so let me just buy now here we go so let's go buy now and now they are going to take us to another page where we are going to fill uh, the informations and here I will show you literally the payment methods so here they are there is like credit and debit card as you might see here so as you can see there is also the e-wallet which you will have any kind of cryptocurrency you think of so there is paper wallet bitcoin tether usd usd c ethereum square wallet nutler there is binance pay uh, there is a bunch of options guys so you are not limited at all and there is online banking like rapid transfer and yeah you can literally accept any kind of these and they will pay you in the payment method that you have chosen which is bank account for example in our case so guys, these are the ways that you can use in case you'd like to get your money back from your wallet on Steam. They are not like legible ways, they are like glitches or ways or tricks that you can use uh, to get your money back. So the first one which is selling your account. If your account has too many games that you have bought and your account is way more higher in price <laughs> and you are not really interested in getting a higher price in your account you just want to get rid of the five dollars that you have in your wallet or ten dollars you just want to get some food etc using these funds and yeah you just want to get some food using this ten dollars so how you can do it just go to your wallet check how much amount you have go to the store get a game with the same amount or the exact amount that you have and you can go to g2g and literally sell it for the double or like uh, 1.5 of the price that you have bought the game at for example escape the back rooms you can literally buy it with ten dollars and sell it for ten and a half eleven twelve and get your two dollars uh, benefits from it so yeah guys that was completely it thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial